Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to create product displays with Pretty Links. A product display lets you showcase your affiliate products in a sleek, eye-catching way, instead of just another boring old product or affiliate link. So, instead of having a plain old link in your article, you can showcase products like this instead, using visually appealing displays like you see here. Posting product displays in your blogs and just about anywhere on your website can really grab attention and showcase products in a click-worthy, enticing way. And they're a must-have for any affiliate marketer. They have the power to really boost your user experience, drive more sales, and up your earnings. Also, each display can feature two affiliate product links. So you can promote two products in one display, or offer two places to buy, doubling your chances for clicks and conversion. In this video, first, I'll show you how to create a product display in the Pretty Links plugin. And then, you'll see how to insert a product display on a WordPress page or post. Finally, I'll show you how to group multiple product displays together and then show them on a page or post all together, side by side. Now, this is going to be a pretty basic primer on product displays and pretty links, so you can get started creating and earning from them right away. But for a more in-depth guide and details, be sure to check out our support documentation page on product displays for a lot more information. Before you get started, you'll need to have the Pretty Links plugin installed in your WordPress website. And then you need to install the product displays add-on. To do that, just go to Pretty Links here on the left sidebar and Add-ons. And then find Product Displays and click to install and activate the add-on. And then once that's installed, you'll see Product Displays added here under the Pretty Links plugin. Now there's two ways to create a new product display. One is on a newly created or existing Pretty Link and another is right on the Product Displays page. First, I'll show you how on the Product Displays page. So to create a new display, just go to Pretty Links and Product Displays. And then click Add New. So here's where you can create a brand new product display. So first, give it a name. This name will show up to you as the admin in the plugin, and it will also be the product title at the top of the display here, which you can see here in the preview. Next is the product image that will show on the display itself. So just click here to add your image. And then you could choose an image that you have in your media library or upload a new one. So I'm just gonna choose one that I already have uploaded here. And you can see the image added here. So this right here is a real-time preview of what your display will look like. So as you build the display, you'll get a preview of what it looks like so far right here. Next are the product links and buttons. So you can add two of them, a primary and a secondary button. So maybe you have affiliate products for the same product on two different websites, like Amazon and Wayfair or something like that. So you can advertise both of them here. So maybe the first button can say buy on Amazon, the second buy on Wayfair. Or you can even advertise two different product brands of the same product, like two TVs, for example, and then have one button go to the first product and the second button go to your affiliate link for your second TV. Or maybe you have an affiliate link for a product and also a page on your WordPress site for a review of that product. So you can make the primary button link for the product, and then the secondary button link can go to your review page. So these buttons don't have to actually link to a product itself. It can be any link that you want. Okay, so starting here with the primary button, you can either choose an existing pretty link that's already created in pretty links for this, or if you don't have one created yet, you can toggle create new on right here, which will let you enter a URL. And then a new pretty link will be created for it automatically. So for my primary button, let's say I already have an affiliate pretty link created for this product. To show you that, I'll go to pretty links here in a new tab. And right here is a pretty link that I already have made for this. So here's the actual URL for the product and my pretty link. So this is the link I'm gonna use for my product display. So going back to the product display itself, so in the case of using an existing pretty link, I'll leave the create new toggle off. And then here in this field, if you click on it, and then begin entering the name of the existing pretty link that you wanna use, it'll show up here and then just click on it. Just like that. And then next, enter what text you wanna appear on this links button on the display. Something like buy from Amazon, buy now, buy from wherever, purchase, anything that you want. And then you can see the button added to my display here. So this button will go to this pretty link that I selected here. 
So that's how you add an existing pretty link to a product display. Again, you can add just one button or two. And you don't have to add two buttons if you don't want to. You can just leave the second button here blank. But now I'm going to add a second button to my display and then use it as an example of how to create a new pretty link for it right here on the screen. So for my secondary link, instead of just selecting an existing pretty link that I have, I'll go ahead and toggle create new here on. And then I'll paste my target URL for the product. Just like that. And then I'll enter some button text. This will be buy from Best Buy this time. And you can see it updated here in my preview. So once I save my product display, a pretty link will automatically be created for my new link right here. And I'll be able to edit it later too. Okay, so now I have my two buttons added. One for my existing pretty link and one for a brand new link that will be created. Two other options that you see under each link is tracking and no follow. So just go ahead and toggle these on if you want them to apply to these links. I'm not going to get too into them here, but go ahead and check out our support docs for more information on what each of these are if you're not familiar with them. And the tool tips right here give you a little more information about them too. Okay, now that I've got my links and buttons set up, now we'll see how to modify the design and add a description and disclosure. So again, right here on the right side here is the real-time preview of what your display will look like when it's embedded. And then under templates, here's where you can choose the styling of the display box itself. It's set to basic by default, which looks like this with the rounded edges that you see. But there's a whole bunch of them to choose from. Just select one here. And then you can see what it looks like on the preview. But for mine, I'll just leave it set to basic. Badge text is a way to highlight a specific product display with whatever text that you enter here. So if you enter some text, it'll display this sort of flag here at the top like this with the text in it. Next, enter the product price exactly how you want it displayed. Like this, for example, with the dollar sign. And then type or paste the description of the product. So you can use the features of this text editor here to build it, or you can just paste it in. So you can include bullet point lists like I did in mine. You can bold text, etc. And you can see my description added here to the preview. Next, you can enter some affiliate disclosure text. Enable show disclosure, and then type or paste your disclosure text here in this field. So this will display this text here. Or you can enable default disclosure, and it'll show the disclosure text that you have entered in the product displays tab of the Pretty Links options. So you can reuse your affiliate disclosure text across all your product displays if you want to. To show you that real quick, if I go to Pretty Links and Options here in a new tab, and then click on the Product Displays tab, next to Affiliate Disclosure, you can enter your text right here. Then all you have to do is enable Default Disclosure under Displays, and it'll insert this text here right on your display. So that's what I'll do for my sample display but you don't have to show a disclosure at all if you don't want to. But by using my default disclosure, you can see it adds it here right at the bottom. Okay, the last option you see is new tab, which will open links on this product display up in a new tab in your user's browser. So just enable that if you want that to happen. So once I have my product display all set, I'll click here to save it. And now once it's saved, if I go to Pretty Links and Product Displays, I can see it added right here. And I can click to delete it or edit it if I want to. Also, if you remember, for my secondary link, I chose to create a brand new link when adding it to my product display. So to show you that, if I go to Pretty Links here in the plugin, you can see it created a Pretty Link for that link. And if I open it up, here's that target URL and my new pretty link, which I can edit if I want to. Okay, so before moving on, I'm gonna show you how to create a product display and an existing pretty link. So there isn't really any difference between using this method and the method I just went over, it's just another way to do it. So if you go to edit a pretty link that you have right in the plugin, just like this, you see this product display tab. And if you click on it, you can click this button here to start creating a new display from the link. 
So you can just follow all the steps that we just went over. And you can see it automatically selects the pretty link right here. Also, once you have links attached to product displays, if you go to the pretty links page of the plugin, and then again, go to edit a pretty link, and head to the product displays tab, you can see the display listed out here on my example. And if you have a specific link used on multiple product displays, all the product displays that use this particular link will show up right here. Okay, now that I have a product display created here on my sample website, I'm gonna show you how to embed it on a page or a post. So there are a few ways to do this. If I go to posts, and then click to edit a sample blog post that I have, so right here when editing the post, there's actually a block type for displaying displays that you can use. So if you open up the block inserter right here, or just click somewhere on the post, and click the plus sign icon here, all you do is search for PL product display. And you'll see this block type here. So just click to insert it. And then to show a single product display, you'll just select display product. And then start typing the name of the display that you want to insert. Once it shows up, just select it. And it'll insert it here. So now if I save the post and then go to view it, you can see it inserts my product display right on the post, right where I chose. So real quick, another way to achieve this is through a short code. So if I go back to WordPress and then go back to pretty links, product displays, and click on my display, you can see this button here to copy shortcode. So if you click on it, it'll copy this product display shortcode. And then going back to my post and clicking on it to edit it, I could just choose wherever I want and then insert a shortcode block and then just paste the shortcode here and then save the post. And then when I open up the post, you can see that it inserts the display as well. So this does the same exact thing. So it's all up to you what method you want to use. Okay, so now that we've seen how to create and embed a product display in a post, next I'll show you how to group multiple displays together so you can show them all side by side on a post or page. So right now I'm going to pause the video and create some more product displays to use for this example. Okay, so I just created four new product displays for some headphone products, which you can see right here. So now I wanna display all these side by side on a blog post. So to do that, you'll create what's called a display group. So you just go to pretty links and display groups. Then click add new, and then give it a title. Since all of my products are headphones and I don't or I won't have any other displays on my site that are headphone products, I can keep it simple and just name this group headphones. And then choose whether you want to show them in a list or a grid. A list will show the displays from top to bottom vertically, and a grid will show them more side by side. And we'll see what each looks like later, but first I'll choose grid. And then next to products, just start typing the name of your displays that you want to add, and then select them all here one by one. So I'll go ahead and add all mine. So here's all four of my headphone products. And you can also click and drag them around in order too. So this will be the order that they're displayed. So once you have all your products added, just click here to save the group. And then once it's saved, you can click here to copy this display group shortcode to paste on your pages and posts. Or you can use that product display block to show the group too. So going back to posts and clicking to edit my sample post, I can search for the PL product displays block and then click to insert it right here. And then this time select display group and then search for the name of your group right here. And then just click to insert it. Now, when I save the post, 
Once it's saved, if I go to view it, it shows all my headphone displays that I added to my group like this. So again, this is what the grid view looks like. Now, if I go back to WordPress, and then I go back to my display groups, and click to edit my group. Now I'll just go ahead and change this to list view and then click to save the display group. And then now going back to that post that it's embedded on and refreshing it, you can see it changes the view. So here's what that list view looks like. So you can go ahead and change the view on a group. And even though you have it embedded on a page or a post, it'll update it. So if you do want to do this, there's no need to reinsert that group. It'll update. So one last thing I want to show you is some settings and customizations with product displays. So if you go to pretty links and options and go to the product displays tab, you can see some options that you can use to customize your displays. Here you can change your button background color, the text color of the buttons, and even the hover state colors too, as well as the border color of the product display box itself if the theme that you chose uses a border. Here's that default disclosure text that we saw earlier. And if you did use product displays before version 2.0 of the add-on, there are two additional options here. This checkbox, use new product display, is enabled by default. So when this is turned on, it'll use the new product display features and design like we saw in this video to any pre-existing product displays that you might've been using in the old version. Also, you can click convert next to migrate product display if you have any issues with existing product displays created before version 2.0 of the product displays add-on. This will work to convert them to the new style. Also, if you make any changes here in the options, just be sure to click here to save them to make them take effect. And that's it. You've now seen how to create product displays in Pretty Links. Be sure to check out our support documentation page on product displays for a lot more information. And check out our blog posts for some creative use case ideas for your displays. Also, be sure to follow the Pretty Links blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things Pretty Links, affiliate marketing, and link management. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos to see how to maximize your link revenue with Pretty Links.